Today we're going to be drawing um, books in one and two point perspective depending on what we're seeing. So I'm going to have a little picture over here that I'll be drawing these books. And the first thing we're going to ask ourselves is where is the eye line? Now the easiest way to find the eye line, now I could use, I could use my smartphone just because it's here. I could also use like a, like a credit card or a student ID card, just any sort of card. And what you do is you hold this out level and you, and you lift it up so you can no longer see the top of the phone. If I keep going up, I'll start seeing the bottom. If I drop it down here, I'll see the top. But if I don't move my head, where's the point where I can only see the front edge of that phone? That'll be my eye line. So when I'm looking at stuff, I want to try to be more aware of where my eye line is. Once I've got my eye line, and I can either put a real, an actual line down for that eye line. So let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and put, you know, down my eye line for this drawing. Okay. So this right here will be my eye line. Sometimes people will put a little X there. Sometimes you'll see artists put a dot on their drawing if you're wondering what they're doing. They're, a lot, they're marking their eye line, eye line. And some artists are just so adept at it that they don't even need to mark it. They'll just keep it in, in, in their brain where the eye line is. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to, I'm going to then make my drawing. Now I've got one book that's actually slightly above, and you'll see this in the photograph. Uh, it probably won't be the exact same. It'll be pretty close to the view I'm seeing, but mine might be slightly different. But I've got one book that's above the eye line, or the horizon line, because that's what the eye line equals the horizon line. And then most of the other books are below the horizon line, right? And if I wanted to, I could try to kind of do a measurement of how much is that above the horizon line, and I could measure down if I so chose. I don't know that I'm going to be that persnickety. I'm not going to worry about that much detail right now. But I am going to mark, hey, this is where my drawing starts, and this is where my drawing stops. Okay? So I am marking that. Okay? And just to uh, make this a little more clear, we're actually going to formally, I don't know, I, I very rarely, if I ever do this, unless I'm working in some very formal perspective, but I could go ahead and, and make my horizon line. And, and this is, you know, HL for horizon line. That's, that's where everything along this line will be straight. I won't be able to see the top or bottom of anything. Um, so I've got the, the beginning point for the books where I'm going to start drawing and the lower part. Now we're going to use um, some different tools to help us with the perspective. Um, because not our vanishing points aren't all going to be on this line in my piece of paper. Some of them are going to be so far out they won't be on my paper. Uh, and so we'll get to that later. Right now I'm going to actually just focus on the, uh, the proportion and, the, and the, um, the way these books are put together. They're stacked in a particular way. And I'm going to, I'm going to focus on the bindings. So we're going to start with rectangles. And these rectangles are going to help us get closer to the, the perspective. Now, I also did some measuring, and I've drawn these enough to know that they're about a, a 1 to 5. One, you know, so we can actually go, well, that's, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just a tiny bit short. They're between a 1 to 5 to 1 to 6. So um, I'm, I, I'm going to go ahead and use 1 to 5. And I also know that all the books are about the same height. This one's the shortest one, but it's only short by maybe three quarters of an inch, uh, maybe half an inch, so it's not that much. But what, the, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go ahead and say, all right, well, this binding here and this binding of this book is about the same, and I'll mark that. And then I'm going to go, okay, and there's some books below, and these books below me are going to be, you know, a certain height, and they're a little bit taller, so I marked sort of the same height below this book and then I marked another one even lower uh, and this is just a reference point so this would be the same height now one book is on top standing on top of another book that's flat that's laying flat and I'm going to try to position this book where it goes on this book that's laying down horizontally and we're not putting them in perspective yet this is just to get the basic configuration of what the books actually are so I'm going to go ahead and bring this over here. 
So this book is sitting about two thirds of the way up this other book. So I'm going to go ahead and, and get that. Now when you're drawing these books, you're going to, now I've sent you a picture, a photograph. And in the photograph, there's only one lens. So it's only got one line of sight. It's got one point of view. But when we're looking at stuff with both eyes open, we have two lines of sight, two points of view. And so it, we, we get two different images. And what happens when you're drawing is you'll start picking up on both of those images and trying to draw them, and you get warped perspective. Because that's what Picasso was doing. He was putting multiple perspectives for cubism in one view and it looked it looked um, you know it didn't look natural and that's fine if you're being a cubist you know combine your your you had a, a head that was drawn in profile and certain features were in profile certain features were in three-quarter view certain features were in frontal view and again it added a very sort of bizarre look to the drawing and so you know, again, if that's what you're doing, that's fine. If that's not what you're doing, well, then you better be doing something else. Um, so again, this is the basic configuration of these books with no perspective. Now, there's certain things that I need to talk about right now because there are things we haven't dealt with that are very important in this drawing that are going to, going to very much make the difference of whether it looks flat or whether it has dimension. Now, this top book hangs over this book a little bit. So I've got this line biting into this and the reason why is because of these two lines the one that's further down is the one that's in front so if this line is further down than that line that means that line is in front of that line okay so that's important when we get down here we're going to start looking at this like this book here is tucked under the book so i can't see the top of the book this book over here is pulled out a little bit so this is where this book ends this is where the top of this book is this is the further down, therefore that, the one, that is the one that's further in front. All right? And the same thing happens as we come down here, is since this book is pulled out, this book down here is in front of this book right here, because he is pulled out and this one is pushed in. So we got this one is the line of the two lines, this is this line here, if I bring it over, and that's that line there. This is the one that's further down, therefore, it's the one that's in front. Alright. So now we have the, the basic configuration, and I could check um, to make sure, because I think this book does not look, no, it's actually an illusion. So there's things like that that we can, we'll, we'll deal with. Um, in fact, this is even longer. Um, I'm going to leave it a little bit longer, because there are some there are some illusions in terms of the way we see that start coming into play. So if I have like, if I was doing a letter H when you were lettering by hand, and I make all these lines the same width, this horizontal line will always look thinner. It's an illusion. It's not thinner, but it will always look that way. So when you're, if I'm doing hand lettering, you always make that line a little bit thicker. Okay, it's an illusion. This is the same things going on. This will always look. If I make this the same distance as that, this one, uh, you know, this one will always look shorter. Uh, and so I want to be careful of that. I'm also going to check these guys because they seem like they're a bit long. They are a little bit taller. They're, they're you know, the they are a little bit taller. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna make this one a little longer here, and we're gonna make this one a little taller up through here. All right. I think that would make it look better. I could shrink them down, but if I start making them, you know, they're going to look wider. If I start chopping this off, it's going to be that it's going to be a one to four and a half or one to four and three quarters, and they start to look stockier. And the real question is, do I want these books to look thinner by making them taller than they are wide? And that's usually I'll I'll uh, I'll err on the side of them making it look more elegant, quote unquote. Uh, and so that's what we're doing. Now the other thing when we're dealing with, with these books is, again, and we don't have any perspective here, is that sometimes, again, we have different rotations. I have four different sets of vanishing points. And the first, and the, what I have to do right now is I have to ask myself is, are any of these books in a one-point perspective view? 
all right? Now, these books are also warped. They're twisted a little bit. So sometimes they lean a little bit. Uh, people will be like, well, this, this isn't, you know, they'll, they'll start doing this funky looking block because we're making these like these are truly square blocks of wood. You know, boxes that are made from wood that are truly 90 degrees every corner. Um, if we don't, if we start warping them too much, it starts to look like you just don't understand perspective and you can't draw. So we don't want that. Uh, we want to go ahead and, and, and uh, you know, we want to go ahead and use perspective and make it look like we can draw. So we're going to make these look like they are not twisted and warped. And then we can always warp them a little bit later. What we usually do is warp them too much and it starts to look like we just don't know what we're doing. Um, there is one, there is one book here that I, that's in one point perspective for me, and that's this one. Uh, and the, and the, and the thing is, is that it's the way it's turned and stuff that it's actually going to, um, my, my one point bashing point. Uh, so we're going to keep this in our one point. Actually, let me close my eye. Nope. I, I lied. This is close to one point, but it's not, it's, it's the soft, soft, soft two point. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the next. We're going to go to the next step, which is we're going to measure the binding and then see how much we can see of the side. Can we see one binding width to the side? Can we see half a binding width of the side? That will give us how much we can see right to left. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do some measuring and I'm going to measure the front binding of the top book and then measure the side. And I can see just under three quarters. So that's about three quarters. That means that right there is about how much I can see of the side of that book. Okay. I'm going to remeasure that because it looks like I, uh, looks like I was being, I, I see less than that. So let me go ahead and measure this again. All right. So it's a little bit less than that. So I'm going to err on the side of it just being slightly thinner like so. Okay. All right. Now we're going to measure. Now this one, people always get too much. They show too much at the top and they go, why does my book look weird? And so if I, if I, if I measure the front binding of this middle book right here, and so we're, we're using proportional measuring, we're going to get that we have about half thereabouts is how much I see of the top of that book is just about half. Let me go ahead and make this actually half, double check that line. That line is a bit high, so we're going to come down. Again, that's about half. So again, we're, we're going to get our, this is going to help us for this, for our um, perspective. So I'm going to go ahead and measure the binding of this one. If I measure the binding of the book on the left and measure how much I can see of the binding versus how much can I see of the side. Um, we've almost got two and a half times the, the width of the binding. So we're going to come over here and we're going to say that's one, that's two, and a little bit more. Um, the other thing I need to worry about, so we've got this, this book right here. Uh, there's what we call a negative shape. Some people call it negative space, but I prefer the term negative shape. Um, this book is, is over too far. So I'm going to move it because I can see much less of this little, where it clips the book. There's this little L and the L that is there is much, is much thinner. So. We're going to go ahead and do that. And if I move this one, I have to move this one in turn. So we're going to move this one over to about there. Okay. Like so. And now my measuring is off. So I should have checked this before I did this, but we'll go ahead and do it again. One, two, that's two and three quarters. We're going to do, but do it right about here in terms of how much we can see of that book. Um, I'm going to go ahead and erase this so I don't get too confused with that. And we're going to go ahead and minimize these lines through here for now. Now I'm going to measure how much I see of this side. I see if I, if I close one eye, I can see the left side, not the, 
and the binding, I can't see the right. Sometimes you'll say, oh, I can see both sides. No, you can't. Close one eye. And you'll find that you cannot see both sides. Um, So this is about a quarter. I can see just barely a quarter. That's it's one, two, three, and that's not quite a quarter. It's actually a little bit too much. That's one, two, three, four. That's about a quarter. So about that much. So I can see just about this much of this book. Okay. So the thing about perspective is it helps us to understand how much we can see the right or left side. I've already got the right and left sides of all these books. I'm in a, uh, and, and we can now progress to the next step. Uh, and so to do the next step, I'm actually going to define this book. This book is going to define what's going on with these guys. Now all these books are below my eye except for this one. And that becomes very, very important because with this book, this is, this is going to be coming up to the horizon line, and this one is actually going to be going away from the horizon line, or pardon me, down to the, towards the horizon line. And that happens. Everything that's below the horizon line is going to go up to the horizon line. Something that's above the horizon line goes down. So this one, I can't see the top or bottom um, of this book. So... And sometimes people will be sitting up there, I can see the top, and I'm like, uh, no, you can't. And it's because the, the book is twisted and warped, and so the back, this back corner lifts up, and they go, I can see it. And again, so we have to remember, if it's above our eye line, we cannot see the, the top of the book. And so it's just little stuff like this that we need to do to help us clarify things when we're, when we're drawing. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to actually start to draw this book. Uh, that's right, we said, hold on a second, yeah. It was a very, very, very soft two point. So I'm seeing a, just a tiniest sliver of the book on this side. Uh, this angle would be coming up again, up onto the horizon line. And this is close enough that I actually could, could create a vanishing point. I could say, well, that right there is my vanishing point. That, that, therefore, this angle here would be going to that, that same vanishing point coming up got so many lines there let's go ahead and use something that we is actually straight so again this line if this is my vanishing point this line we can take up there now we can't always do this as many times we're drawing these books where our, our vanishing points aren't even on you know they're all off the page or maybe only one set of them is on the page so the only things we have to rem remember is that this line is the one that's closer to the horizon line this one's further down so this is going to be the this is going to be more angle trying to get up there. So the two angles, this is a little split open more, and this is a little bit more acute. This is one is, is again, coming up more. So it's almost closer to being 90 degrees than that one. Or for those that have done angle measuring, it's closer to being on the hour than this one. This might be three minutes till, and maybe this is four minutes till, but um, so it's slightly different angle. So we're going to go ahead and drop a straight line because again the a straight line is going to connect those two angles like so this is then our line coming straight over now I'll do this by hand first I just did this to clarify what I'm doing uh, I, I did this by hand first and then after I've done it by hand we will go ahead and straighten up the lines what some people will do is they'll, is they'll get you know their little straight edge over here and they're using their straight edge to to do every line but the line's still in the wrong place that doesn't help anybody get as close as you can by hand and then correct it later that's that's the way to do it so again we've got this going to the end to that vanishing point i think it's opening up a tiny bit so so now we've got this book and again maybe we'll just clarify this book because this is the most important so now that i've got this figured out we'll go ahead and straighten this straighten this out um, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the whole box. I'm going to act like I can see through the, you know, through this entire box because again, it's going to help us with so much information for these other boxes. Now, 
Again, I said this was almost one point. Okay. Uh, in one point, these lines would be truly, truly um, horizontal. Right? They'd be truly horizontal lines. Okay. But I said, wait a minute. This is. I thought it was one point, but no, it's not. It's a very, very soft two point. But it's so close to one point, I can get away with leaving these straight. I won't be able to do that with these others, but I'm going to start to develop them like these are straight, but then we're going to angle them later. You'll see more of what I mean by that in just a minute. So now that I've got this, whoops, making all kinds of noise. Um, now that I've got this, I'm going to come over here and drop from the corner. We're going to drop a line straight down. And again, I could go ahead and take this corner again to that vanishing point. So this is now going to that vanishing point. And the way I can check to see, you know, make sure I got that right, is that this, these lines are all straight, which means this line would also be straight coming off of this corner. This is my corner right there. And so I can take that and bring it over to double check to make sure that this is in the right place. If it's not, uh, that angles down just a slight bit. Hold on a second, make this actually straight. There we go. And this is, again, this would be the back corner. And this is, again, this is pretty dang close. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's for the most part, it, we, we've got it there. Um, again, so now we've got this entire book. We have the underside, we have the back side, we have the right side, the left side, the top, the bottom. We've got all six sides of this box. And this is going to help us for this next part because here's what I'm going to do. Um, if I've got, you know, this is, now again, we're going to use guesstimations, but guesstimations that are, that are backed up with some pretty good knowledge, again, are, are just, they're worth their weight in gold. So this book is off, you know, it's in front of this, and the distance we have is this much. Okay, that's the distance between this edge and that edge. What we're going to do is here at the back, we're going to also drop down about that same distance. Now, if I want to do perspective, I'd say, well, we'll make it a little bit thinner. Give it a nod to perspective. Well, that's fine. But what we're going to do is once we've got that, we're going to bring a line through there, and then we're going to bring this, which is the outside edge, straight up, now we've got a corner. We're thinking like we're thinking like we can see through this like it's glass, and can we, we can see the back corner of this book, and that right there we brought this line straight up. We marked this distance here, which is down from this back corner. This is about just under the same amount that this is from the front from this front edge. This is now the same distance from the back edge. But what's cool is now we've got a corner there and we've got a corner here. Again, this is our initial rectangle. Now what do we have there? We have an angle. We're going to use that angle because, again, unless someone's got the exact picture and they've traced it out and then laid it over your drawing, they're not going to know that this isn't, this isn't the angle. But we've got an angle that's going to be pretty close to right. And so now, if we wanted to, this is actually an angle enough that we actually take that up onto the horizon line. And again, or even if I didn't have that, like this one we could, this one we can't. It's going to be way, way, way off. But I can just go ahead and make sure that these two are diminishing just slightly. You don't want it, if you diminish that much, that's too extreme. The, the difference between this width here and this width here is going to be very subtle, like maybe an eighth of an inch difference. That will give us enough that we, again, that we can get something that looks like it's diminishing and enough that your eye will go, okay, yeah, I'll buy that. Sure, why not? Okay. Um, now, I moved this one. I didn't move this one once I moved this back out. This is a little bit in the wrong place. He should actually be shifted over. But again, it's not so much that I'm going to lose sleep over. I'm like, ah, the, the book would still be on there. It wouldn't fall off. This will still work. It's good enough. But if I was really being persnickety, this should actually move over to be right about there. It's not much. It's, it's, a, it's, it's just enough for me to go, nope, I'm not doing it. Sorry, someone else can do it. Um, but not me. <laughs> All right, so we got, this is now with a proper angle. We're going to take this one too. This one is on the underside. And if I brought this, this, this line straight over, and again, and this is the corner of my book, I've got a little, this is right there is the distance, right? So what I'm going to do is I, on this, I'm going to bring up that same distance, about that same distance is where this book is on the underside of this book. And then I'm going to say, all right, well, that means it's going to be off the back about that and I'm going to take it about that same distance not exactly the same distance but pretty close take that same distance I'm going to bring it over 
and this is the the right side that I can see of this book we're gonna bring that up and once again by doing that now we've got a corner there we've got the corner here and again we've got an angle now this book is turned so I can see more of this side this book is turned that way so I see less of this side so that means this angle here is gonna be softer okay that's my softer angle now I can't, I'm not going to be seeing this one, one, so you might say why in the world would I go through all that misery or all that to try to get that angle? Because I'm going to, I'm, I am going to see this angle. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make this angle conform to this. In other words, of the two, this is going to be more extreme because it's going down, you know, it's below my eye further. This is closer. Remember angles, they get closer to the horizon line. They get splayed open more and more and more. So if I've got an angle that's on here that's, you know, next to my eye line, this one might be this angle. And the corresponding angle down here is going to be much more extreme. So that's what we're doing. We're trying to gauge the angle that's on the bottom by, by what, we just, what we just figured out. And we'll go ahead and, ch and, and, and put that angle down. If I wanted to, I could actually measure the angle of my book. And I'm pretty close. Took an angle measurement real quick, and it's pretty close. So this is now... that book and for right now we're going to leave it we've got the angle here that's all we needed we did this to get this angle that's all we need we can't see that angle we will see this one but we haven't dealt with this all these are still straight there's going to be a point which we're going to have to put angles on these guys too but we're going to we're, we're going to we're going to leave that we're now going to come to this book now this book is really really important because he hang, again he's hanging down below this edge by about that much that means the back of this book has to be down from this back edge by that much because they're about the same depth. All these books are the same depth, just about. And so I'm using that as a, gu as a guide, you know, as I'm, as, I'm, as I'm drawing this stuff. And I already said, well, this is kind of my vanishing point right there. And if that's the case, um, I could check this. Now, if I brought it to the vanishing point there, that puts the corner there. That means the corner is behind the book or hanging off the book. That's not right. So by using this, I, I will come up with an angle that's going to be more close to accurate, which is going to put me out over here. Now, in the scheme of things, in terms of how much my eyes can see, this is just a nuance. But it's the nuance that's going to make this correct. So again, we're, we just said, hey, this has to stay, you know, this has got to be lower because it's got to be in front of that back line of the book. And I said, all right, well, these right here, and I, it's, you know, I'm going to do it straight because, again, I missed that one a little bit. This would now be the correct vanishing point right there. And that will allow this to stay in the same place and still be, you know, it'll still be, it'll still be in front of this line right here. Okay, and if I wanted to, I could say, well, again, if this is, we've actually got enough information to finish out this book. Uh, and we're actually, have pro we've, we've done enough drawing by hand that now we, can, again, can start to, to draw draw in the rest of the book that we've got and this one now comes over here because that's going down to that vanishing point now I said uh, originally I said I only had one in, in one point perspective but then I, I, I changed that now for all intents and purposes I, I've, I made this a one point perspective because soft 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 two points can start to seem crooked like you don't know how to draw one point so this is so soft I left it. So this will technically be one point, but we're fudging it. I, I want you to understand that. These are, de are all going to be definite two point. Um, so this actually has a soft angle going to the right. And I'm going to show you how we're going to deal with this. But this is this side of the book. So again, where we're going to go ahead and uh, clean this up a little bit. Go ahead and I came in on that because this just was the this was the old line the new line was right about there so we went ahead and, and, and made that more correct this line then going to come down to here so we're going to go ahead and we've got this line here again this one's hanging off the book okay so we're gonna, actually going to go ahead and get the all the we haven't done the left the going to the left vanishing points on any of these guys they're all straight which means they'd all be in one point which they are not and so we need to again we need to be thinking about this now um, of the three the one that's in the softest perspective is this one 
Uh, and how I'm going to do this is, again, this is going to be, because they're all, these two are fairly soft, this one's the most extreme. This one's turned the most. These are turned a little bit, you know, less. And so the way we're going to deal with this is we're going to say, all right, um, this is going to be going, you know, to the, to the way out to our vanishing point, but which one's turned the most? And in other words, well, this one's actually already, I said we don't need all the ones to the left. Well, that's not true because this one is the left, but, um, of these two, this one's turned almost straight into one point. So this is the closest to one point. This is a little further. It's still going to be out a ways, but I want you to understand that I'm thinking of the angle. So if I if I measure the angle, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if the angle kind of cuts across the corner of this book a little bit. So if I measure that angle, it cuts that corner, and I'm gonna try to visualize uh, the the cut that it's making. Now I think that that's just a little too extreme. So we're gonna go ahead and. There we go, flatten that out just a bit. Now, so this is, this is the angle. Now this is where this was supposedly straight and what we've got is a sixteenth of an inch. I'm gonna remember that because that means I'm only gonna lift this by about half of that. So, and again, all, what I'm talking about is that when this was straight, this angle slices that straight line, this, 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 this vertical, and the distance is maybe, it might be 330 seconds, but it's very, very small. But I'm going to use that on, as I come down here and draw that book. I'm going to compare this to that. So a lot of this is just comparing what's this, what's that, what's this, what's that. And that's what we want to you know, keep in mind as we're drawing this stuff. Um, now this is further below my eye, the eye line than this one. Um, so of the two angles, this should be the softer angle. It's going to be coming down a bit. But it's not going to be, it's not going to be near as extreme. If this is, you know, again, if this is, what about almost just 14 minutes before the hour, this is somewhere in between there. So again, if this was straight right here, and that's that 330 seconds, we need to make this a little bit less because all these angles aren't gonna be the same. They're all gonna be a little different as they, you know, come up to the, to the horizon line. And this is gonna be a little softer as it goes down to the horizon line. And if this that book was actually ending right there, this whole thing, this whole side would be one flat line. We don't want that, but there is at least a little bit of a, you know, this coming down here, this coming down there. So it looks like, oh, that's above the eye line. This is below the eye line. And now I've got my book. And the book is, the book is hanging off this book still. Um, this little corner here is getting pretty close. Okay. This one's getting pretty close, but that's still hanging off that book. So there's the corners right there. These are these corners of the book back here. And of course we can see through this one, but now we can actually erase that because we got all the information we needed. So now we can go ahead and I can finish out this book by just darkening some lines going, these are definitely the lines. I'm keeping these lines. They're not moving anymore. I've made my decision. You know, it's, it's all good. Okay, so again, now we've got our book that's sitting on top of that book, except it's pushed out a little bit. And the reason it's pushed out is because this is the corner and the, and you know, the one that's the, of these two, the one that's further down is the one that's in front. That one's in front of there. This one's in front of there. Boom, we got it. And again, now we could come in here and clean this up because we don't want all these lines. Again, normally if we was doing this, I would do this very, very light so that you couldn't see it so I could er erase all of it so no one knows how the trick was done. You know, we are illusionists. We are magicians, if you will, using a visual language. We are creating illusions. We are creating, you know, a slight, it's a visual sleight of hand, if you will. And so, yeah, we want, we want to be able to make people believe that very easily that this trick is, is that, that they are seeing this illusion and you're not showing them what's behind the curtain, so to speak. All right, so again, we can go ahead and clean this up. Okay, so that's, you know, that's really nice to be able, we can go ahead and we've used all this for what we needed it for, and now we no longer need to make this transparent. So we can clean this up, okay. Now this is just to get the perspective of the books, because this is just to give us our blocks. 
once we've got our blocks, well then we're gonna have to round these off and turn them into books. Because they're not, you know, straight. They're gonna, we're gonna round this corner, round that corner. You know, start to make it look like, you know, it's, it's an actual book. Uh, if we do this, there's gonna be a thickness and then you're gonna come in for the pages and, you know, all this sort of stuff. But for right now, we're just dealing with the perspective. And so, we're now we're at this book. Now, of the two books, again, I said this one was a little bit softer. Now, I think we brought this guy up, so this is his vanishing point. So that means this one right here. We're going to have a very, very extreme angle on this. If I'm seeing very little of this side, I'm going to have, again, this extreme sort of angle. And sometimes this throws people off because they're not used to, we're not used to being more aware of the angles we're seeing. And so sometimes we'll go, what? That can't be right. But it is. Now it can't be straight because that would be, this is a truly straight line. It's going to be somewhere between, on this side, it's going to be somewhere between quarter tail. It can't be quarter tail because that's a straight horizontal. It can't be on the hour because that's a straight vertical. Somewhere between those two. And we can go ahead and measure that out. Bring this up onto here. Now that's my corner right there. Um, there's my book. Now um, this one though has an angle. Now we had said that one was about 330 seconds. This is, and this is further below. This would be a little bit more extreme. So we take a little bit of that into account. But we go, hey, what if I, what if I, what if I just bring this up? Again, a little bit less than that. So that's, that's an that's just under a sixteenth of an inch, so it's lifting less than this one, and so that will give us this far distant, you know, far distant vanishing point going off there. This is the left vanishing point. This is the right vanishing point. That would mean that these two, if we took this angle here, this would be just a little bit softer. So we go ahead, just because it's higher up, close to the eye line, that means the same angle, close to the eye line, is going to be. A little softer again it's going way way out this is a soft this is also a soft two point but there's enough of an angles that we can go yeah we're gonna have a bit of an angle here so we're gonna put that on all right and then we're gonna go ahead and draw the rest of the book which is about like so okay so again these are going to this far distant so this is our right vanishing point right going to the far right and this is going up here is going up to that vanishing point right there. So again, we've got all these different sets of vanishing points. Again, that's my little triangle here. I just hit it real quick. Um, we're going to go ahead and draw this one. Now, this one is, again, this is going sort of to the, the vanishing point over here. And this is almost going to be going to the vanishing point here. And I'm going to check them real quick because I want to see if this angle is the same as that angle. If, if it was, it'd be something like this. It's like a V that's equally the same on both sides. It's not that much. This is softer. But it's much more extreme than these two. And this is almost um, 5 sixteenths of an inch. That's, that's too crazy. If I, if I went ahead and did this, it's about 10 minutes till. Uh, so it's, it's probably going to be right there. I'm going to then go ahead and, and draw that. And see how that feels and or I can go ahead and measure and go hey is that the same same angle and a pretty it's pretty it's, it's pretty close to being the exact same uh, angle so we'll go ahead and put that down this is now this angle going to the left for this guy far far distant vanishing point this one's now going this way and we'll just go ahead and you know, again, so all these have different sets of vanishing points that they're performing to. And I'm getting this, I did it, I'm doing this, I did this by a combination of proportional measuring, combination of um, some uh, schematic understanding, uh, or in other words, uh, construction drawing, measuring, angle measuring, and then knowledge of perspective and the horizon line to keep everything in check. So is this a perfect... Uh, perspective drawing, no. But is it going to look like it's in perspective? Yes. And that's what we want. We want that it has enough that looks like it has the diminishments, uh, that they're, you know, that they're going to their proper vanishing points. Again, the important thing on this one was to make sure, especially at the base, you know, don't forget the base, the foot, because this foot right here had better be in front of this foot over here, or that's wrong because this book is pushed back. Now, the other thing I need to, to deal with um because i'm looking at this as this turns this binding would be getting smaller and right now this binding looks wider than that one and 
it might be an illusion, but it is, but it, it looks too wide. It's not wide in this one, but it's an illusion created by the perspective. As, as this gets more extreme, that means it's covering more distance. So that means that this distance is going to get a little smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mark, and I think I already did this. Actually, I'm going back to my original mark. So this will be getting, it'll be getting, getting even skinnier as it's going away from me. And that will look more correct. So because as I rotate this, this binding will get skinnier and skinnier. It rotates, it'll get skinnier and skinnier and skinnier and skinnier until it, if it was at one point, it would become a straight line. I wouldn't be able to see, I wouldn't be able to see that thickness if we continue to rotate that uh, in general. Depending, I mean, there's, you could say, well, it depends. And yes, there is a, there is that conversation to be had, but I'm just saying that as this, as this book turns, the binding is going to foreshorten. It's going to be getting smaller. So this binding should be smaller than that binding, and now it definitely is. And this feels like it's rotating more now. And again, sometimes people are like, ah, I don't know that I see that. And part of that is because, again, it takes some time to start to see the illusions, to start to see how perspective works. And that's why we take you through these exercises, not to be just like boring stuff. It's so that you can develop that eye, so you can actually improve and, and apply it to your work. And now, once we start to clean this up, we have a, what looks to be a stack of books with different perspectives, different rotations of these books. Okay. This would be just the starting point for drawing the books. This is just the perspective part. And then we could start to put on, you know, uh, the other stuff, all, all the fun stuff, uh, the, you know, the, the, the logo and the writing and the, and the detail and blah, 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 blah. Um, I think this line was not quite straight. This line's not quite straight. Like there. Uh, we got this line right here right we got that line there we got that line there yeah okay and then we got this line over here um again i kind of brought that line down because i didn't think it was quite straight this is doing a little bit of the same thing which moves the corner a little bit which means this little line here is going to move out it's going to be the same angle but it's going to you know come to that new corner that was established and so now my corner is you know it's going to be right right there um so let's go ahead and clean that up. Again, this is where we get the straight edge. This is that final tuning of, again, just the boxes. This is not, again, these don't look like books yet, but we've got, we've got the perspective part of this. And of course, it, once, we have the, once we have the contours defined with the pages and stuff like that, well, then we could start to, you know, put the value on, put the shading, the gradations, all that good stuff. Um, but again, like if we're going to turn this into a book, this is going to, this is a little bent over. That turns, this curves. That's going to be, that's going to, we're going to turn that over. This has, uh, there's a thickness to the binding that's, that's used on this book. So there's a thickness to the, to the binding of the book as well that we want to give a nod to. We also have where we can see the pages. So again, this would round over. Some of these are actually blunted pretty extremely because we've got these, these corners of the binding. These are older books, so they've been, you know, got, they've seen, seen their time, and you can tell that they have. Okay, so this is, again, just the thickness of, of the binding part of these books. Right? And then we're going to have some pages here like this. We'd probably barely see it, but... We have a little bit of the pages coming down through there, right? Um, you know, uh, again, this would again be a little rounder. This would round a little bit. This would round a little bit. Um, and again, this is this is dealing with, and we could start to go. Well, this is actually an, an old book of Treasure Island, and it has like this little, what looks like sort of, sort of a, a very almost like a placard or something like that uh, right there and it has the title on there above that there's a little crow sitting on a on like a little stick so we can put the little stick in there and start to you know put the put the little shape of, of this little 
this little crow that's kind of just crouched over. Not a crow, pardon me, it's a parrot. Um, this parrot coming down into here, you know, or, or at least a shape that looks a little bit like that sort of thing. Again, we don't have to detail everything, but we want to give a nod. There's like a, you know, to, to what's there. If we, we use the basic shape of this guy, now his tail comes off here. This comes over here, tail coming over there. The basic shape of this parrot is really sort of this little shape here, and then there's, we come a little bit onto the head. And then this, this, this comes here around, and there's the shoulder comes up. But this is just the basic shape. It looks like a puffin, so I'd have to kind of get in there a little bit. But a little bit of this, of this bird, this exotic bird that they've got on here, as part of that there. Um, we can actually see on the, on the binding now, again, depending on how much we want to do on this book, Uh, this is actually blue and then it goes lighter so this is where the color ends as it wraps around the binding a little bit and then along the edge and again we have to we have to put the rows and stuff and they'd all be in perspective but there's these rows of treasure chests now the treasure chests are in perspective so they almost look they almost just like look like little like little uh, ellipses, and then this, and another ellipse, and, and they're really foreshortened. So I have to foreshorten this a little bit more. But it's kind of cool, you have these little treasure chests. And we could, you know, just give, again, sort of a nod to those little treasure chests. And again, there's, 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 there's all these rows of them. Little, little, little icons of treasure chests. Again, they're so foreshortened, but, they're, but they almost look just like a, a sort of frumpy little ellipses. But again, this is this is how we can again start to to make this this into a, a drawing of a book. Um, this right here, which is upside down, unfortunately, I should have paid a little more attention. But this 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 is the comedies of Moliere. Now, an interesting thing is this this again this this binding comes around, up, and then out. So the binding kind of it 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 is, and it's not straight either. The binding is actually a little cupped right this thing turns the corner and the way this is made it's kind of rounded and then it goes into that that binding and so again we're gonna have a thickness up here of this thing and then this goes into here and there's gonna be a slight thickness there and we're gonna see a little bit of whoops then go up, this just comes up, this goes around, this goes around, this goes there, this goes there. Okay. And don't forget to follow your original angles. Don't, don't forget that thing. Um, so this would again be the thickness of this binding right here. That's the thickness of it, the top of it. And then we're going to go down towards the pages. So there's a little bit of a little shelf that comes down and the pages over here. And so these pages you're going to see these certain, and some of the pages you're going to see where grouping them, they're, they're cut at a little bit different lengths. So you start to see some ridges because certain pages are a little bit uh, higher than others. And so you'll start to get a little bit of, you know, some of these sort of ridge lines. But remember those ridge lines have to conform to the vanishing point. Because they're all, you know, this seems a little too similar. So we're going to Oh, that's right. This is the this is the shelf, though. This is the book coming down, and this is where the pages begin. It's right through there. Um, so this would be you know whatever have a value to it. But the idea is that that's the way we're going to be thinking about you know putting this book together with more information. Again, this is not flat. This is actually going to be slightly you know slightly cupped. Because these bo these books are slightly rounded, they're 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 bindings and such. So again, we would come around here, and we'd start to go, okay, let's go ahead and, and, and give a nod to the fact that these again are, are round a little bit, they're cupped a little bit. Um, some of these edges are, are are a little tweaked. This gets there's this one's kind of sheared off a little bit because it's folds under. So again, this would kind of do that. This again is rounding, so this rounds here. This is a little bit again cupped. This then rounds over there. 
you know, again, we're, we're you can go ahead and start to turn these into books now. And at some point, we could then put the we could we could put the uh, you know put value on them. So if we have a light source coming from this direction, well, then we could go ahead and start to go. Well, let's see. There's going to be a, a cast shadow through here, and there's also going to be a cast shadow onto here, and there's going to be you know uh, there's going to be a little bit of this casting a shadow down here, you know, and and then we'd say, and this is you know in half light, and this is in you know the dark values, and all this good stuff, and we could start to you know again this would be the light values, this would probably most likely be the dark values, and we could start putting value on here and again really making these feel like they have depth and, and uh, really turn them into into a drawing. So I'm going to want you guys I'm, for, that are in the class that you're going to be receiving a, a photograph of the books that I, that I used, and we'll put it over here so you can use it as reference, and I want you to try to draw as, as accurate a drawing of the books you can using the ideas of perspective. All right, so go ahead and do that. Um, and this is, again, really a really good exercise to kind of get us starting to think about the rotations of multiple vanishing points when we have uh, all these different objects. Each one of these has a different set of vanishing points that they are conforming to. So this set is different than that set is different than that set is different than that set. And so give this a shot. Again, it's a really good exercise to get your brain wrapped around the ideas of perspective.